Hi guys, uh, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how to uh, how to add some uh, some of the annotations. Uh, like, uh, uh, see, uh, in the previous video, previous videos we have seen how to generate the earlier report, uh, and uh, and in the uh, in the second video of the earlier report series, uh, we have seen how to add the screenshot when a test case is failed. So here you can see this is our report we generated in our first video and in the second video, yeah, this is the test case failed and we have seen how to add the screenshot to the failed test case. You can check out the, those videos on my channel here, QI Bobo Works. Just go here and you can see all your report playlists and you can watch watch them there. So in this video, like if you look at these test cases, uh, you can see uh, there are no much details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it is passed, you will see in the green color and uh, by default, the severity level is normal and the duration step, I mean, precondition and post conditions, that's it. But we, we can add as many details as possible uh, using earlier report, but uh, we will see some of the important annotations that help us uh, to give more details about our test execution report okay that's uh, the first thing I would like to show you is a description so here you see right test login page UI it, it is giving like it is related to UI but there are no much details about it how we can uh, leverage the some of the annotations and give more detail about our test case and uh, test body let me switch to my IDE and this is my framework. Okay. So in order to add a description to our test cases, let me add, there is an annotation called uh, description from the earlier report. Just type this at the right description. You can see the first one description. If this is from QA meta dot allure, select it and give the description. So this test case is about validating the U, uh, login UI page. So I'll mention that this test validates login page UI. And similarly, for the second test, at the rate description. And this test is related to, yeah, login functionality. So this test validates login functionality okay now go to uh, other test cases i'll add a description some some more test cases at the right description and this test is validating the product page ui okay this test UI and yeah already I have written here this test validates adding what to the call this test validates adding multiple products to the yeah so for these these products I have already added the description and uh, for this test case also let me add a cart page description okay here this is to check out check out product some description i give okay so i have added the descriptions now there is another one more annotation i will discuss here itself go to login page suppose you want to mention sir, in the report if you see here for each and every test case the severity level they are mentioning it as normal okay it is by default since we did not mention anything it is showing like this now what i do is i want to uh, give my own severity levels so login page yeah it is normal uh, so i don't want to change anything but for the login scenarios but if it is login is failing but uh, it shouldn't be a normal one so for that one i have to use cv severity levels CVR Sorry, 
mean a severity level from earlier repair dot i'll say it is a critical not blocker yeah you can mention a blocker also but i'm giving it as a critical similarly for the ui I, i'll leave it as a normal for adding the product yeah so i'll mention it is this one also severity If, uh, if this is also critical and add products to uh, I'll mention something like uh, trivial just for the report purpose okay I added some of the severity levels so now let me execute these test cases and see whether our changes are coming in the report or not. We are almost done. There is one test failing and the remaining tests are passing. If it is finished, then we can launch our new report and see whether our changes like description and severity are coming or not in the report. Still executing this test case. Yeah. So one test is failed and seven pass. Now go to the project location, open terminal, give our favorite command. So enter. So the report is generated. And now you can see here. I think before this one did not add it more products okay for card products so we did not add any description or severity but uh, here also we did not anything but on login page I we have added you can see the description this test validates login page and this login functionality and the severity we changed it to critical from the normal and similarly here you can see the description and severity levels are now updated Okay, this is how you can add severity and uh, description to the test cases. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, in the coming video, I'll show you how to add the test body. That is steps using uh, POM.xml. Uh, we'll see how to add the steps in the uh, steps of the test case in the report. Thank you. Thank you for watching.